Hey guys, for those of you new here, my name is Cynthia Williams. I'm the creator of the Change Your Habits, Change Your Life program. Today, I'm gonna to talk about how to figure calories for weight loss. This is just an easy, generic way to start to figure out your calories and get you off on the right foot. Key is consistency and adherence. So, let's talk calories. generic way of figuring your calories. If you would like a much more advanced way or learning how to manage your calories as you progress through life or your weight loss goals, I should say, as you lose weight and as you come back up to your maintenance calories, information on my program is down below. It's $49 and it gives you a more elaborate way of figuring your calories and how to adjust your calories as you're moving through your program. Also below, you'll find the link to my ebook, which is uh, a much more uh, elaborate version of this, basically, that gives you a little bit more detailed information um, on calories and workouts and things like that. So both of those you will find down below. All right, so how to figure calories. Again, this is just a very generic, basic, baseline way of figuring calories for your weight loss goals. So what you need to first decide on is what your goal weight is, all right? So and just for um, making this easy and numbers easy, I said we want a goal weight of 140 pounds. So you're going to take what your goal weight is and times it by 12 to get your calories, which is going to be 1,680 calories. All right, so the key to this, though, is consistency, number two, okay? So you need to consistently eat 1,680 calories a month, two months, three months, four months, however long it takes you to help you reach your goals. You can't do it for seven, 10, 14 days, go out, blow it on a weekend with your friends, and then come back Monday and try it again. It is gonna take you forever. It is consistency and adherence to this number to reach your goals, okay? You have to be consistent, all right? The next thing to consider is protein, okay? Protein is crucial for muscle mass, maintaining, building, and our metabolism, all right? So the more muscle we have, the higher our metabolism is. But in order to maintain that muscle mass or build any new muscle mass, we need to be consuming enough protein. So if your goal is 140 pounds, you need to be consuming 140 grams of protein. Now some of you might be saying, holy crap, that's a ton of protein. Well, you're probably, your diet right now is consumed with a very high carb, high fat, low protein. So this seems like a lot to you. So if you start to change your mindset and you start to change your nutrition behaviors, which is obviously what needs to happen if we're in a weight loss phase, then consuming a higher protein diet is going to help you reach these goals. One, it leaves you feeling full longer, but two, protein is the nutrient that, again, as I said before, helps us preserve what muscle mass we have and then helps us build any new muscle mass, right? And muscle equals metabolism or a higher metabolism. So we need to be consuming this. You can do protein shakes, you can do any kind of lean version of protein that you like. If you're vegetarian, it's, you know, doing tofu, um, uh, tempeh, whatever it is that looks like for you, but you need to get your protein up. So you're going to need to use some kind of tracking app, whether that's my fitness pal, lose it, the carbon app, whichever one you prefer. I don't care about that, but it just needs to be one that will help you track your calories and your daily protein grams that are consumed. Because if you try to do this mentally every day on your own, it is going to be exhausting and you're going to end up throwing in the towel. So just give in to a free app, use the app, track your food, and see exactly how much protein we're getting and your calorie amount. And I guarantee if you consistently stick to this over time, you will reach your goals, okay? Fourth and final key to this is your water intake. Again, if our goal is 140 pounds, we need to be drinking 140 ounces of water a day. Again, you're gonna be like, holy cow, that's a ton of water. It's really not. You're, again, probably just used to drinking very little water, so this seems like a lot, but once you consistently drink this much water and your body adapts to this amount of water, your energy's gonna go up. Your skin is gonna look better. You're gonna recover better in your workouts. You're going to sleep better. Your overall metabolism, again, will help to improve because water is in our muscle tissue, so we need lots of water to operate or to go through the motion every single day. You need water, guys. You need water. So, again, to simplify it, low body weight times 12 
consistency and adherence. You have to be consistent. You can't give it seven to 14 days, say it's not working, blow it to shit, and then do something else. Jumping ship every time, uh, you know, every two weeks, a month, whatever like that, consistently doing that, that's what's screwing you in the end and keeping you from losing weight, okay, overall. And that's a whole nother video to get into, and I have lots of videos on that, the reverse diet, that you can look up that, that that's what's happening to your body, another video. Um, getting in the right amount of protein and getting in the right amount of water. Again, if you want a much more advanced version um, of figuring your calories, you want a little bit more guidance, a little bit more help, you can check out my program, link is below, or my ebook, again, both of those are below, and they give you just, uh, they give you a lot more, not a little bit, they give you a lot more information on helping you reach your weight loss goals, but not only reach them, sustaining them, which is the bigger piece of the puzzle that I work on with my clients, well, we can all lose weight. We have issues sustaining that weight loss. So that's what I address um, a lot with my clients and what you'll find information on in the ebook and the program link below. So I hope you have a great day. And if you like this button or like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, uh, give me a little bit of love. The more you give love you give me, the more videos I can create. So it's a win-win for both of us. All right, have a great day.